hey guys thanks for joining me for another video and for this video i'll be looking at the arithmetic mean of a set of numbers x1 of the xn and that's denoted by x bar and that's the formula is given so um we're going to do a quick example find the arithmetic mean of the set of numbers and our x bar is just equal to 1 over 6 minus 3 plus minus 1 plus 0 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 uh, all divided by 6 and that's just 5 over 6 and so now for calculating the mean for a frequency distribution we have uh, x bar is equal to the summation of f of i x i i sums from 1 up to n over the summation of f of i where f is our frequency and x i is our values or x values so now for quick example also find the mean of these of, of the values which corresponds to the frequencies so we're going to go ahead and set out a table for our x values and our frequency values and then we'll calculate our x bar using our formula so multiplying across which is minus 18 minus 2 times 5 10 4 0 2 2 and 3 so now summing from i equal 1 up to n of our f i's we have 6 plus 5 plus 4 plus 3 plus 2 plus 1 plus 1 and that's just equal to 22 so now for our sum of our f of x we have from i equal 1 up to n of our f of x and that's equal to minus 18 plus minus 10 plus minus 4 plus 0 plus 2 plus 2 plus 3 and that's equal to minus 25 so now we have uh, our x bar is equal to the summation of f of x over the summation of f and that's just equal to minus 25 over 20, 22 and that's just equal to minus 1.14 which is our x bar so say you now we have uh, a class so we want to find the mean of this class having frequency distribution given below so what we're going to do is we're going to set out a table of class at frequency then we're going to find the midpoint of these classes and that will be our x values and then we're going to multiply our x values times our frequency so the first class midpoint is 5.245 then 5.745 6.245 6.745 7 7.245 and now our f of x is 62.94 and 18 one, 183.84 then we have 68.695 53.96 and then we have 14.49 so now we have our summation of our f of i's and that's equal to all the sum of 12 32 11 8 and 2 and that's just 65 and now for the sum of, of our f of our f of x and that's equal to 383.925 so now our x bar is given by the formula sum of f of x over f sum of f and that's just equal to 383.925 over 65 which gives an x bar of 5.91 
and that's it for this video guys thanks for watching